I will give you guys explanations. Not because I feel you deserve it, but I think it'd be fun to tell you guys what's been going on. And um, not, not to say that you guys aren't deserving of knowing the truth or anything like that at all. It's just more of a, I just want to let you guys know. Why did Louis Caliber quit YouTube? It's the five word question that's been on the mind of each fan since he randomly disappeared in around 2016. And recently the question has transcended a simple mystery and has been elevated into a borderline conspiracy theory being magnified dramatically since the release of the mini lad allegations. In October 2020, prison mate Luke would release a video titled The Truth Behind Louis Caliber, discussing a twit long release by one of Louis Caliber's ex-girlfriends who had detailed a somewhat horrendous relationship she had with Louis when she was only 18 years old. Now this video excellently outlines all of the allegations and you should definitely watch it before this one to provide context, but I don't really think Louis got much of a fair trial in the YouTube courthouse for this one, and the argument being that Louis quit YouTube because of the allegations doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I'll explain why in later parts of the video. In this video I'm going to show you every clip with Louis Caliber himself explaining why he left YouTube from his perspective, then we're going to compare that against the alternate theory, being that he left YouTube because of the risk of these allegations being released, with the overall goal being that you can draw your own conclusion from the evidence presented. This is The Conspiracy Behind the Disappearance of Louis Caliber, Fact vs Fiction. Okay, order in the court please people. I am Judge Sonny V2, as previously mentioned, today we will be arguing as to why we think Louis Caliber has quit YouTube. Today we're joined by Sonny V3 who will be arguing for the side of Louis Caliber and Sonny V4 who will be arguing for the rest of the world. In order to get this case underway we must first ask our defendant himself Louis Caliber to explain why he quit YouTube. And since he no longer uploads to YouTube we've got his defense guy Sonny V3 who's found every single old clip of him explaining why he quit YouTube. Sonny V3 please take it away. Alright, thank you very much Judge. Alright, argument one. Louis Caliber explains why he left YouTube. On the 24th of July 2016, Louis Caliber would host a stream for his 5.14 million subscribers with the title Late Night Pokemon Go with Louis Caliber, hunting Pokemon in Balboa Park at 3 in the morning. What's up you guys? It's 3 in the morning at Balboa Park. Chilling. After 26 minutes of streaming, Louis Caliber would say, This dude's driving real slow next to us. Looks like he's hitting up all the stops. Then abruptly end the stream and disappear off YouTube for three years without explaining why he had left over this period. Now obviously Louis was still alive as he was still fairly active on Twitter, but this only created more questions for his fans. He was clearly still on the internet, why would he not continue making YouTube videos? His random disappearance set the fan base crazy with almost every comment on his videos being related to his sudden hiatus, only being magnified by Louis taunting his fans through tweets such as happy two year anniversary, exactly two years after his prior upload. One year later in July 2019, exactly three years after disappearing, Louis would host another live stream titled Three Years Later, finally reappearing on his YouTube channel following the hiatus. It's been three years since I made an appearance on my YouTube channel. Happy anniversary. Just wanted to say happy three year anniversary. It would be on this day that Louis would make the comment that was used in the opening of this video, somewhat taunting his fans by saying that It'd be fun to tell you guys what's been going on. Making it somewhat obvious that there was a bit of a story behind why he had left. However, Louis' stream would crash and it would be during a two hour live stream eight months later in March 2020, where Louis Caliber would finally give a long form explanation as to why he quit YouTube. I didn't stop because like there was any like crazy reason. I just stopped because it's like, Hey, there might be an apocalypse one day. What if I work on some stuff outside like YouTube, just in case? I need to keep making gajillions of dollars and if YouTube crashes one day, how am I gonna make gajillions of dollars? Louis explained in this video that the reason he quit YouTube was because he believed the future of YouTube to be financially insecure, with another adpocalypse always being a possibility, ultimately leading him to begin working on other endeavors outside of YouTube. This statement is somewhat consistent with a prior tweet where Louis Caliber stated that he only made videos for money and there was no longer any money in it. This would once again be backed up by another short statement by Louis Caliber in another stream where he would once again state that he was only doing YouTube for the money. It was all about the money or something like that. Like it is, if you apply like McDonald's or anything, which isn't a bad place to work. Hey, well, you work at McDonald's. Is it all about the money? It's like, yes, you do. of course you'd want to work or do something you like for money and stuff. Louis stated that after quitting YouTube, he began to focus on Wall Street, companies, investments, and Bitcoin. So there's a thing like on Wall Street, there's companies, there's investments, and a lot of things you can do with your money. Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, 
Let me focus on this. Also stating that every time he would try and return to YouTube, another business opportunity would present itself, leading him to lose focus on a return to YouTube. Every time I come back in these little spurts of doing YouTube and stuff, it's like, I really do have the agenda that I want to do it. But then again, another business opportunity or something presents itself. Louis' final statement on why he quit YouTube was because he's just happy with his life where he's at and he's enjoying doing his own thing away from work. I like where I'm at in my life. I'm happy. I like what I'm doing, I like chilling and stuff. I want to spend time like, like just enjoying my life, like away from everything, work and things like that. And so I just do. I have the luxury of doing that. And to the best of my knowledge, that's every clip online where Louis has stated his reasons for leaving YouTube. There's probably some others that I missed, but I assume that they would just say a similar thing. If not, feel free to comment any other reasons for him leaving YouTube that I failed to include here and I'll happily give you credit. Thank you very much, Sunny V3. That was a very convincing argument. However, now we have to hear the alternate response from the party's representative, Sunny V4, who believes that the reason Louis Caliber quit YouTube was due to the allegations that have recently come out from his ex-girlfriend. Sonny V4, please present your argument. All right, thank you very much for the introduction, Judge. All right, argument two. Louis Caliber has quit YouTube as a result of the allegations put forward by his ex-girlfriend. On the 22nd of June 2020, one of Louis' ex-girlfriends would write a tweet longer relating to her past toxic relationship with Louis and all of the horrendous things that would happen in this relationship. It was mentioned in the tweet longer that Louis would begin dating her in 2018 when she was at the age of 18 when he was in his early 30s. Other notes within this tweet longer would be that Louis would make her pay for everything despite him constantly bragging about how rich and famous he was. This would also be accompanied by the fact that Louis had a secret child with another girl, which he would make the tweet longer girl look after while he sat around playing video games. Games. No one really discussed these allegations on YouTube, most likely because Louis Caliber had already quit a long time ago, until prison mate Luke would upload his video titled The Truth Behind Louis Caliber, with the main argument being that Louis quit YouTube owing to these allegations coming out on Twitter. But despite being one of the bigger people in the group at the time, he just stopped uploading around four years ago. You might wonder why, and well at first I thought it was just from a lack of drive. Well it turns out, Mini Light isn't the only person with baggage in the group. Following this video, many of the comments on Louis' videos have been requesting others to go and look at Luke's video. Video, stating that they now know the reason why Louis hasn't been uploading. Since this video, it seems like the general consensus with the fans of Louis Caliber have been that Louis isn't uploading because of these allegations. Thank you Sunny V4 for that excellent representation of the opposing argument that Louis Caliber has quit YouTube as a result of these allegations coming out. Now that we've heard both sides of the argument, I'd like to go back to Sunny V4 for him to explain why he thinks that Louis has quit YouTube because of these allegations. Sonny V4, go ahead and argue your side. Thank you very much once again, Judge. This is my argument for why I think Louis Caliber has quit YouTube due to these allegations. Let's get into it. To begin, I think probably the best piece of evidence for Louis disappearing from social media due to these allegations is probably the dates in which he previously posted any content. Louis's last post on Twitter was on the 30th of May 2020, approximately three weeks before these allegations would be released, with him going completely silent for the last seven months. Prior to this, Louis was tweeting fairly regularly, so it would raise some questions as to why he would just randomly stop following the allegations. On top of this, Louis's previous YouTube upload was in March 2020, which was only a few months prior to the allegations being released. The second piece of evidence that smells a bit fishy is Louis' reasoning for why he left YouTube, which was summed up very well in Prison Mate Luke's video. Which I don't know how there wasn't money for him when when he uploads he gets a bare minimum of half a million views. And he was consistent with it and I doubt he really got demonetized enough to really affect him. And this is a good point. His videos wouldn't be getting demonetized, he was getting a load of views, why was there no money in YouTube for him? It's a sus reason to say that there's no money in it when he would be making bucket loads. Plus his resignation from YouTube back in 2016 was before the adpocalypse even happened. It was also mentioned that he had quit YouTube because he had gotten into other business practices, but has never mentioned what he got himself into. And every time people ask him about his business practices outside of YouTube, he seemingly gets angry such as this tweet on the 25th of June, 2018. Now this is somewhat bizarre because if you're running a business, wouldn't it have been your best interest to give your business as much exposure as humanly possible? People such as Filthy Frank who later became Joji built so much of their brand on the fact that they were previously a YouTuber and they already had a mass audience. I don't really see the motivation behind trying to keep your business practice behind closed doors. Another point is that it's kind of contradictory to constantly brag about how rich you are, then go ahead and say that YouTube doesn't pay well enough for you to continue making videos. Clearly the reality is that Louis is pretty well off today, so saying that you've quit because it's not paying enough is kind of bizarre. The final and probably obvious point is that these allegations are clearly going to damage Louis's reputation, which gives him incentive to quit YouTube. 
YouTube. Now, was Louis toxic to some extent in these relationships? I mean, we could almost guarantee it. There's multiple accounts of Louis being toxic within relationships with many different girls, but we also have to question how true these allegations are, which will be discussed in the next section, the argument for Louis not being guilty. Thank you very much, Sunny B4. Some very good arguments being put forward there based on the allegations. But of course, we have to hear the argument from the opposing side, who believes that Louis has not quit YouTube based on these allegations and is actually telling the truth in his initial story. Okay, thank you very much, Judge. Appreciate it. This is my reasoning for why I believe that Louis Caliber hasn't quit YouTube because of these allegations, but instead has quit YouTube for the original reasons. The first argument for Louis not quitting YouTube over these allegations is the overall timeline when you have a good think about it. Louis quit YouTube for the first time back in July 2016, and his relationship wouldn't even begin with a girl trying to cancel him until 2018. How can you even make the argument that him originally leaving YouTube in 2016 was because of a relationship that he wouldn't even begin for another two years? On top of this, cancel culture didn't even exist in 2016, or maybe it was in its very early stages. Even if he had done something worth a cancellation back in 2016, it wouldn't have been a reason to quit YouTube because it just wasn't a common thing to do. Now, not uploading since June 2020 because of the allegations is a reasonable argument, but considering he had already quit YouTube for over four years before the allegations were released, it's a pretty difficult statement to prove. I think the best way to put it would be that it's possible that the reason he hasn't uploaded in the last seven months was because of the allegations, but it's impossible to prove because he only uploads once every seven months or so anyway. Also, to state that he originally quit YouTube because of these allegations is a total non -stop starter, as he wouldn't even get into the relationship until two years after he quit uploading to the platform. The next argument I want to make in favour of Louis' situation is to do with the money. When he said there's no money in it, he probably meant there's not as much money in it compared to other business ventures, which is also extremely true. There's always that next level of thing that will earn you more money than what you're doing now, and if he found himself in that position, then yeah, from his perspective, YouTube wouldn't feel like a good financial decision for him. Another very interesting thing worth mentioning is that his last video was in July 2016, and the apocalypse happened in August 2016, only one month later. Could a large majority of his channel have been demonetized, leading him to no longer want to make YouTube videos? Very possible. And Louis doesn't seem like the kind of guy to complain, so rather than complaining about the adpocalypse, he could have just moved on to another venture without making a big deal about it. It was also stated in the previous argument that the reason he would quit was because there was no money in YouTube. And while he himself has stated many times that there's no money in YouTube, his final statement was actually slightly different to this. Let's play it again. I need to keep making gajillions of dollars, and if YouTube crashes one day, how am I going to make gajillions of dollars? We have to remember that Louis' original statement was that he disappeared owing to the instability of his financial future on YouTube, rather than the fact that there was no money on YouTube. And this makes a lot of sense. YouTube is not something that you can do forever. How many creators from 2010 are still big on the platform today? It makes sense that Louis saw an end coming at some point or another and decided to move on to other endeavors. We can also defend Louis for not speaking about his business practices as he mentioned that what he did outside of YouTube was to do with Wall Street, Bitcoin, and investments, meaning that maybe he doesn't have another business but is rather living off invested capital earned from YouTube, in which case it would be reasonable for him to not want to talk about it. And maybe this ties into the fact that he's also just enjoying a private personal life. As mentioned in the Twit Longer, he seems to have a kid and is in his mid-30s now. It makes sense that he wouldn't want to be on YouTube anymore. We've seen this with people like Big Doss TV, H3H3 Productions, Vsauce. They get a bit older, they have kids, and the YouTube game just naturally slows down. Another point I want to make in favor of Louis is that he doesn't really seem like the kind of guy to throw up the white flag when allegations about a previous relationship are brought to the surface. People are throwing him in the same basket as Minilad, but I don't think that's a very good comparison at all. Minilad is a weak guy with obvious deep-seated insecurities that clearly cares what everybody thinks about his image. Louis Calibre, on the other hand, clearly doesn't care what anybody thinks of him. If you see any negative comments, please don't feel the need to defend my honor. F me. It's totally cool. Let people talk shit about me. I really don't give a f I'm a big boy. I got this. He quit YouTube, tells everyone that the reason he did it was because of money, and makes videos on his Twitter roasting fans whenever they get offended. What the f was so offensive? about that or out of out of poor <laughs> Dumbass idiot. I don't think he'd go into hiding in order to avoid being seen by the masses. And this brings us to the final point where I'm going to say that what Louis being cancelled for probably isn't as severe as it's made out to be. We have to remember two things. Firstly, the person trying to cancel him is a Twitch streamer who's trying to gain as much exposure as possible, so it's in her best interest to make the allegations seem as severe as possible. And this is fair enough. You can't blame her for it. If something happened to me or you, we'd want to make it seem as bad as possible because it's going to give us the most exposure. The second thing is that what seems normal in 
personal relationship at the time suddenly becomes a lot worse in retrospect after a breakup. For example, in the Twit Longer, he would always tell me stories about other girls he's been with. Might at some point have just been a simple discussion about past relationships. He would always complain about how his ex was a bad mum. Might have just been various comments regarding who had the baby at what time. Now obviously this is a fairly loose point. Everything stated in the Twit Longer might have been 100% accurate, but it's important to remember that it's in the writer's interest to make it sound as horrendous as possible, and what seemed okay in a relationship often gets distorted following a breakup. Did Louis Caliber quit YouTube as a result of these allegations? That is the question that we're ultimately trying to answer here. And the judge's verdict is probably not, mainly because the timeline is completely off. Louis quit YouTube way back in 2016 and wouldn't even get involved in the relationship until 2018. However, maybe we can meet halfway and say that maybe the reason he stopped posting on Twitter in May 2020 and stopped posting on YouTube in March 2020 was because he was too afraid to face the criticism. However, this has arguments too, as previously mentioned. It doesn't seem like Louis Caliber is the kind of guy to throw up the white flag like Mini Lad. But perhaps the fact that he had already kind of half quit YouTube, these allegations might have been the final nail in the coffin and we won't see him again. Perhaps in two or three years time if he still hasn't posted anything on the platform then it might be pretty safe to conclude that these allegations were the final nail in the coffin. But the truth is his upload schedule is so all over the place that even seven months later it's still too early to draw a conclusion. The other question worth asking might be, is Louis Caliber even in the wrong when it comes to these allegations? This might be a bit of a hot take, but I don't think Louis's done anything wrong here because I think in every relationship, both parties are liable for the outcome of that relationship. Was Louis Caliber the perpetrator with all the toxicity while the girl writing the twit longer was just the poor innocent victim? I don't really buy it, not really for a second. There are so many things within her twit longer that seem like even bigger red flags than what Louis did himself. How can you say it's unreasonable for him to be uncomfortable and controlling when it comes to you texting other guys, when the eventual outcome would be you cheating on him with one of those other guys you were texting? Sounds like Louis had a sneaking suspicion that you were up to something and was taking precautionary measures, which I don't really see anything wrong with. On top of this, if it's your genuine philosophy that a man who is over 30 should not be trying to have relationships with girls who have just turned 18, why did you get into that relationship in the first place? If you were so angry at having to pay for every flight to go and see him, why did you book the flights in the first place? You're in a different city, so what was he even going to do if you didn't book the flights? Then to put a bit of a cherry on top of the cake, you tried to end his whole career in exchange for some Twitter clout. You finished the twit longer by saying that you realised that you were the victim, however it seems like most of these things that you are complaining about were things that you entered into voluntarily. You're not the victim, but you're also not the perpetrator. But Louis's not the perpetrator and he's also not the victim. You're both equally responsible for the outcome. And to me it seems kind of immature that you would ultimately try and end his career via Twitter in exchange for a little bit of internet clout. And I'm not a very good judge and probably not a very good relationship person, but if you look at this objectively, I don't really think that you're any better than he is at the end of the day. Anyway, that's just my verdict. Sunny V2, judge signing out. Like and subscribe. Uh, thanks boys, take it easy, bye.